If you are a beginner learning web development or even an experienced developer who has been working on the back end but has always looked at the front end like, man, this is difficult. HTML, CSS, it's not my thing, right? I see that happening a lot of times. So guess what? Today we're launching UI elements for you guys. Now, this is actually an interactive lesson on codingphase.com that every single one of you guys that is a Diamond member has access to. All you have to do is come to codingphase.com, click on your account and then from there once you are in version 4 you come in and you could go through the courses or you could just click right here on the latest announcements right and it will bring you into this course so this is HTML UI elements and let me go in and show you guys what this actually looks like okay so basically it's an interactive lesson we're covering a couple of different projects right each project has specific techniques that will help you understand HTML CSS much better and you're actually building things that's interesting and fun to build and actually look good okay sometimes I see some of these courses and platforms they have really ugly designs really ugly presentation and guess what we decided we're gonna go in and give you like real-life projects and things that actually look good that you will build for a portfolio or for a personal project okay and something that you could be proud of so again we start with the most basic thing which is a button but this button has a beautiful animation i don't know if you guys can see it through here but at the same time we're covering multiple techniques within this button it might look like a very simple button but it has CSS animations, it has positioning, right? And a whole bunch of other different things like transforms, Z index, that's gonna go in and help you understand the concepts. And here we have that project. We also have modern navigation, right? A lot of people have issues with this, creating a modern navigation that's actually responsive. If you look over here, you can see we have a nice animation in here, okay? And a nice mobile menu so we are covering that um, we're also going in and going to the next thing which is a flight card this is something that you guys are gonna see in a lot of new modern websites how to go and create something like this making sure that it has the right animations it has a nice look to it how to work with typography so we're going into all of those things inside of these projects and it's very simple and straightforward like i said right we have the finished project here we usually start with the first project to show you exactly what it looks like and you could always come back to the first section of that project to see hey what does your code look like compared to um you know what the actual uh, project supposed to look like so you could always come back to it but then from there we have in here like instructions that break down every single step right the way how you're supposed to build it sometimes we go in and we look at a tutorial and what usually happens is somebody just going in copying all of the code but you don't actually get to see how the person thinks and how they actually went in and built something like this okay so in here that's what we're doing we're going in step by step right for example like hey let's start resetting our default styles right then from there let's go in and center the actual card right in the middle because we want this to be right in the center so we give you all of the steps all of the CSS properties, all of the tags, which tags need to be inside of which one, right? So just to make your life much easier and for any beginner and anyone that uh, wants to do this can actually understand how to follow it. Another one is uh, containers. I see a lot of you guys that go in and start building your projects and you guys don't know how to actually use a container properly. So we went in and created a very simple uh, project on how to do a container and we show you how to do that inside of here we also go into the next project which is uh, pretty much simulating a DMV department of motor vehicles for someone who's going in creating a license right they're gonna register for the license we show you how to use every single input field that comes with HTML and that way you understand how to work with forms in any capacity Okay, I see a lot of people having issues with that. So we go in and we teach you that. Um, in here, we go in and show you guys how to actually create a tab system without having to use JavaScript. There's so many different things that you can do without having to use JavaScript nowadays as far as CSS. And this is gonna allow you to understand how to put those things together, like you know CSS selectors, right? So we're gonna go in into all of those things inside of here.
okay just to get you guys up and running and help you like understand how to connect all of these things together to make something useful and that actually looks good right the final project that we have here is a hero section now this hero section is going to be a very nice looking hero section we are using you know everything from uh, background blur to using positioning making sure that everything is aligned properly to creating our own grid system to be able to create you know nice typography uh, nice spacing in between how do you do this we're gonna go into that inside of this interactive lesson and like I said you know every single one of you guys that is a diamond member currently right now has access to this so guys we're adding a lot of cool stuff to codingphase.com so definitely come in and check it out and one of the many features that we have added to codingphase.com by the way we're adding new features every single day and if you want a feature you can always add a suggestion we go in and add it for you um, but basically right now when you log in you get a dashboard that comes in and welcomes you and shows you hey these are the days that you have been active the most and what is an activity for example right when you go in and you do a course right you complete a course you complete a career path you complete a lesson you complete a project you're applying to jobs you're viewing jobs right you're doing research it could be even that you have taken a tutorial somewhere else or a course somewhere else you could log all of that within code phase.com so you could go in and have a track record of your journey of becoming a developer and also too within your career so this is not just for people who are just beginners this is a platform that now you could pretty much log everything that you have done in your career so you could keep track of all of these things okay so again we have the calendar and the calendar you can see pretty much all of the days you want to have all of this green as much as you can right you want to be able to say well this day i was working on my portfolio project or this day i was you know in here um adding new things to my resume right all of these things get added automatically and some things you could add it manually so i'll give you a great example like over here uh today's the 10th right um you can see over here it already logged in that i applied to uh five different jobs right enrolled in a course and all of these things actually give you experience points which can help you go in and level up within your career but also too you can see it on your level on codingphase.com okay so currently right now i'm a level four <laughs> i'm still building up i'm getting my my weight up guys okay give me some time i'll be at level 100 <laughs> we're gonna catch them all right so again we're adding a lot of cool features to help you guys out right i've been doing this for over eight years helping people get into the game this is why we created this platform and taking it to the next level where we're providing to you guys literally for 30 dollars a month uh the career paths that's going to help you get hired uh video courses interactive lessons portfolio projects portfolio templates uh job board resume builder like a private community like you're getting a whole bunch of services in one platform for a single price okay it's very simple if you guys want to come in and you want to get this done and you've been wanting to become a developer or you've been coming uh, someone who makes income on the side right like this is the platform this is where you want to come in and actually you know be part of we've been doing this for eight years this isn't something that we started yesterday everything that i'm adding to this new platform on coding phase right version four is things that we have seen where people have dropped the ball on right things that they had issues with and we helped them get through it and those are the same problems that everyone else has so again people come in and say well where do i start guess what here are the career paths that you should be starting with okay here are the video courses and the interactive lessons that's going to teach you the skills to be able to go into this career path okay great now i have the skills joe but man what project should i do for my portfolio guess what we provide you that we tell you exactly what are the projects that's going to help you land a position and going to impress employers specific to the career paths not just learning how to code random bullshit projects we're teaching you exactly what companies need you to do okay guess what people always say man uh, you know i got a portfolio joe what do you think can you review it guess what look i know you're not a designer i know you're not a professional you're still building yourself up guess what let me go in and provide you with a template to help you go in and look nice 
Okay, so when someone goes to your website, to your domain, they're not looking at an ugly design or someone that looks like just came from a boot camp. You want to look like you've been in the industry for years. So let me go and build you that portfolio template. Guess what? We give you that. The next problem that people always had was, okay, I got the skill, I got the portfolio, I got the projects, uh, but I just really don't know what type of jobs I should be applying to. Guess what? And now we go in and we search for the jobs that we believe that in your career path, you have the highest chance of getting hired. So we give you all of that within the platform. All right. So you're not going to find a place like this that's providing you this much value, especially at this price. So take advantage, guys. And like I said, anybody that's already a diamond member, come in, take the UI Elements Interactive Lessons. OK. And also, too, for anyone that is having issues with JavaScript, that's next, guys. OK. We're going to jump into JavaScript and we're going to jump to algorithms for those of you guys that's doing front end full stack so that way when you go to these companies and they ask you hey do you know how to do this this and that hey can you solve this problem guess what you already have gone through enough practice runs where you can say yeah i could go through that problem and knock it out so you could ace that interview okay so again definitely go check out codingphase.com links in the description and yeah man i'm super excited for this see you guys in there all right take care